Hi, I'm Saran from Restored Into New. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to dry brush using milk paint. The colors that I'm using are General Finishes Queenstown Gray and General Finishes Tuscan Red, which is my base coat. And so this is a beautiful wood medallion um, that I'm going to put up on the wall. And I did two coats of the Tuscan Red first. And now I'm going to dry brush the Queenstown Gray over top of it. And I'm going to use a cheap chip brush. You can get them for a dollar at Home Depot or Michaels, wherever. And then you can use little um, artist brushes to get into the grooves if the chip brush can't get there. So dry brushing is really easy. All you have to do is put a little bit of the milk paint and you can use other types of paint. You can use chalk paint, um, the acrylic, uh, synthesis paint, all of that. Um, Wise Owl is a really good product to use. Annie Sloan is good, but I love general finishes. So we're going to put a little bit on the brush and then we're going to get a towel and take most of it off. And once you do that, then you're just going to lightly feather it on the piece. And it'll give you that beautiful two-colored or two-tone look. And I like the paint to hit the high areas more so than the rest of the piece. And it will naturally just kind of lay on more there just because it's the first thing that the brush touches. And you just lightly feather it on. Until you get the desired look or amount of paint that you want on there. If for whatever reason you put too much paint on, you can always go back to your base coat after it dries and lay more base coat on there and start over. lightly brush it and I go in the direction of the design when I'm dry brushing so you can see I'm going with the curve and dry brushing is as simple as that and you don't have to use just two colors you can use as many colors as you want if I wanted to add a third color on I could wait for it to dry and then get a new brush do the same thing put some paint on there wipe most of it off and then dry brush in the areas where I want to use the third color or the fourth color or however many you're going to use. And that is dry brushing.